Oh my gosh, she has the whole perfume. <laughs> Can you say your name and tell me what you yes, wear? Yes, and uh, I am wearing the Narciso Rodriguez. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bella and this is Bella's Perfume Diaries. If this is your first time of stumbling on this channel, Perfume Diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes, a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle. So if this is the kind of content you like, please click that subscribe button and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for seeing me in once again. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the most hyped fragrance on TikTok from the house of Narciso, Narcisco. I think the fragrance was released either 2022 or 2021, I'm not so sure. So I'm here to give you my own thoughts on the fragrance. And the fragrance I'll be talking about is no other than Musk Noir Rose by Narciso. This is actually my second fragrance from Narciso. The first fragrance I used from Narciso was Narciso Poudre, the short white bottle. I love that fragrance. I love to wear it to work. I also love um, Narciso for her before her line. The reason why I got this fragrance was because one of my favorite influencers, Kamsi Namani, talked about it. When the fragrance was released, I saw it, I saw a lot of people talking about it, but I wasn't drawn. I don't know why I'm not drawn to get Narciso fragrances. But then when my favorite YouTuber talked about it, Kamsi Namani, she was literally gushing over the fragrance and I'm like, you know what, I need to get that in my collection. I've done a couple wears on this fragrance. I am here to give you the full tea on this fragrance. So first of all, let's start with the packaging. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this black and pink. I think this is like dark pink or fougere. That's the front and then the back also has all the write-ups. It's just a basic perfume packaging. But I love the color combination on it. So it's, it's written Moss Noir Rose by Narciso for her. It will perform 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounce. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's actually a colored bottle. So it's not transparent white. I think the juice also has that pink color in it. But the bottle itself is a colored bottle. I really, really love the bottle of this fragrance. Now let's know what it smells like. So the main accords of Musk Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez are musky, fruity, vanilla, sweet, powdery, rose, tuberose, white floral, soft spicy, and animalic. This fragrance is described as an amber floral fragrance for women. The top notes are plum, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle notes are musk, rose, and tuberose. Base note is vanilla. This is a deep, dark, sensual rose fragrance that kind of smells like warm, cuddly, you know that kind of intimate, sexy, sensual fragrance. That's basically what this fragrance is. It is very mass appealing and different. So this is not like a typical designer fragrance. I would not say it smells like a niche fragrance, but then it's somewhat different from what your typical designer fragrance smells like. So it starts off with an intense sweet rose. I'm guessing that thickness and intensity comes from the plum. You know, rose is very delicate, very soft and floral, but this one seems like it is heavy, like it is intense. That's how the rose in this fragrance is. So I'm guessing it's the combination of that plum and the rose in the fragrance that gives it this heavy, thick rose scent. And it has sweetness in it, but I will not describe this, this as a sickly sweet fragrance. It's more like a matured sweet fragrance. So when you spray this fragrance at first, you get this sweet, thick, heavy plum with rose that gives it this sophisticated but at the same time very sensual feeling and then you start to get this creamy vanilla it has this classy muskiness i would not say it's like an animalic muskiness or patchouli in it it's more like very refined very chic very classy muskiness that kind of stays in the background of the fragrance but it is present in such a way that you can smell it you know that it is there but it's not shouting in your face i don't know if you get what i mean 
So that's how the musk in these fragrances. Usually, most of Narciso fragrances are heavy on the musk. You can you can smell that musk, especially the for her range. For her, that's the light pink bottle. The musk and the rose go hand in hand. But this one, the musk in it is in the background, and it is not you know very heavy like what you know musk is to smell like. It smells very elegant, very sophisticated. I absolutely love the blend of this fragrance. So the musk in it makes it a little bit powdery, but at the same time very elegant. I would not say this is a powdery scent. Remember that it has the plum, the heavy notes, the rose, the vanilla in it, and then that musk is in the background, guys. The musk is in the background. You can hardly smell it, except you are just reaching for it. The major notes in this fragrance are plum, rose, and vanilla. This fragrance feels like a warm, big hug. It is a compliment getter and it is loved by men. One of the days when I wore this fragrance and you know tried to get somebody's opinion, one of my male friends, and the way he described it, he said it smells very inviting, it smells very seducing. When a man smells this on you, they would feel like giving you a hug and not letting you go. This fragrance has moderate projection with minimum of 18 hours longevity. It has an amazing scent trail, but it's not a loud fragrance. So people that are around you can smell this. It's very intoxicating. It's not harsh to the nose. It's just a soft, sexy, warm, sensual, plum, rose, and vanilla scent. I'll probably be posting this after Valentine's, but Valentine's is not the only time that you know spend time with your man. But I would recommend this if you are going to spend time with your man, maybe date night, because it's more like an intimate scent. I would also recommend this as a signature scent. It is also a beautiful signature scent for a lady that doesn't love overpowering scents, loves soft scents that are sensual, but at the same time still has that touch of femininity in it. Just get your hands on Mosque Noir Rose. I absolutely love this. When I sprayed this fragrance, just like I mentioned, I compared it to a watered down version of Labelle Intense. But when I wore it over time and did the comparison, they are not the same fragrance. I would say like this is like the cousin, like the younger cousin of Labelle Intense. Because Labelle Intense is very heavy on the sweetness and the pear just gives it that thickness. But this one is more like this warm, sexy, rose vanilla scent. I'm actually seeing myself getting obsessed about this perfume. It wasn't love at first sniff for me. It was a like at first sniff for me, but I can definitely see myself getting obsessed about this perfume. I absolutely love it. So that's my review on Musk Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. Have you tried this fragrance? Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Would you love to try it? Let me know in the comment section as well. Have you tried any fragrance from Narciso Rodriguez? Let me know your thoughts on the brand in general. I feel that they do really nice feminine perfumes. I have smelled like one of their masculine perfumes too, the Blue Noir. So I love that one as well. I love most of their fragrances. Amazing fragrance house that a lot of people don't really talk about. But if you are looking for that feminine femme fatale fragrance, you should definitely check out Narciso Rodriguez. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this episode. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, drop your sense of the day in the comment section. I would love to connect with you in the comments. Thank you guys for tuning into Bella's Perfume Diaries. I'll be seeing you on my next episode. Bye. I don't know if you can see my fingerprints. I knew actually, I discovered. When I was doing my wish list 2022, are we in 2022? 2023. Basics, my lace is stronger.